Welcome to the Mind Body Business Show. The three keys to your success is just moments away. Here's your host, Brian Kelly. Hello, everyone, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mind Body Business Show. We have an amazing, amazing guest on tonight. I cannot wait to bring her on. She is my sister from another Mista from days gone by. She's going to rock the house, and uh, you are in for a big treat. Stick with us because she is an expert with a capital E in what I consider to be the biggest pattern to success that we all possess. And I will tell you what that pattern is in just a moment. The Mind Body Business Show. What is that all about? Well, it is about those three patterns to success that I've discovered over studying only successful people over the last decade. And what I discovered over that decade is all of these patterns kept bubbling to the top of why are these people so successful? What is it about successful people that makes them any more successful than others? And I started recognizing these patterns develop. And the first of which is mind. And hint, hint, wink, wink, that's the answer to our guest experts. Expertise is in the area of mind and mindset. And that is about having a very powerful and flexible mindset and having a very cleared out mindset. And we're going to get deeper into that on this very show. I'm excited because mindset, in my humble opinion, is the number one most underutilized and under targeted asset that we all have. If we all were to just concentrate on our mindset and get the help we need from professionals who know how to help us to clear our minds of all the garbage and the trash and to replace it with beautiful gardens of beautiful flowing flowers, then our lives change for the better. I know this personally because I have personally gone through certain mindset trainings in depth and it has been a life changer. And we're going to hit on that tonight a lot. Uh, and body, what is that all about? That is about literally taking care of yourself, nutritionally and through exercise, inside and out. And then there's business. Now, business is very multi, multi, multifaceted. Uh, it, can, it requires many skill sets to become successful. Many skill sets like sales, marketing, systematizing, leadership, uh, the last one being the most important uh, because there are many, many more. And the reason leadership is so important is because no one person, in my humble opinion, can master all of the skills necessary, not just to create a successful business, but to maintain and grow it. And the one key element, the one key skill set that all of these incredible, successful individuals that I studied had in the business realm was that they mastered the skill of leadership. And when you've done that, now you can scale your business and delegate and bring in others who have those skill sets that you might not have at that moment. And so though that is what this show is all about. The Mind Body Business Show is a show for entrepreneurs, by entrepreneurs. And I am here to help extract the secrets of highly successful people like the young lady you are about to meet. And, uh, and so that you can simply model what they do. So you're gonna get to model what Terry does and become successful. You're going to get the opportunity to connect with her and become more successful. And that's what this show is all about, is to help you to reach the goals that you desire and deserve. And another wonderful trait about highly successful people that to a person is, is true, is they are all very avid and voracious readers, readers of books. And I personally didn't read books for decades. I, I kid you not, decades. And about a decade ago, I finally woke up and realized the importance of it and began reading myself voraciously. And so what I want to do is really quickly segue into a segment I affectionately call Bookmarks. Bookmarks. Born to read. Bookmarks. Ready. Steady. Read. Bookmarks. Brought to you by ReachYourPeakLibrary.com. Yeah, there you see ReachYourPeakLibrary.com right there on the site for those of you watching live or on the recorded video. Now, just a, a quick word before we go on is do yourselves a favor and right now take out that old-fashioned parchment. Remember that stuff? It's called paper. And then there's this thing called a writing instrument, a pen or a pencil. 
And what I implore you to do is instead of running off to another tab on your browser and taking off and watching or looking at these resources that you're told about on this show, because there will be several, rather than do that, just write down the web addresses and take note to then go revisit them after you've either watched or listened to the show. Sound fair? Because here's the thing, the magic happens in the room. And if you were to divert, take your attention somewhere else, and Terry came with a golden nugget and you missed it because you were concentrating on something else, well, I really would hate for that to happen. So stay here, stay in the virtual room, and stay here for the magic because it's coming very soon. Terry is sitting in the wings and chomping at the bit. She can't wait to come on and I can't wait to bring her. So let's get through this. Reach Your Peak Library, it is a website I had developed with you in mind. And I do not kid when I say that. With you, the entrepreneur, the business uh, professional, the person looking to get something better out of their life. This is my personal list of books that I had myself have read and I vetted. These are all books that have had profound or some great positive effect on either my business life or my personal life or both. And as I scroll through here, you'll see about 40 or so books on this uh, website. Not every book I've ever read is on this site. It did not cut the grade. So these are the best of the best. And I put them here for you so that you could at least have a targeted list of books to look at and look for from at least one other successful entrepreneur. It doesn't guarantee they're gonna have the same or even any profound effect on you because we're different people, let's face it. But it increases your odds of picking a book and spending the time, the investment of your time, reading a book that will give you results. And that is what that is all about. So go ahead, write down reachyourpeaklibrary.com and visit it after the show is over because now is the time to bring on the superstar of the evening. Here we go. It's time for the guest expert spotlight. Savvy, skillful, professional, adept, trained, big league, qualified. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen. The one, the only, Terry Waldman. How are you doing this evening, my sister? I is doing really, really well. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I love it. So uh, we've known each other for probably 200 years. It's been an amazing, amazing ride. It's it's funny. Uh, this is one of those individuals that it's, it's a mutual feeling that when we met, it's like we've known each other forever. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's fun. Uh, has a great sense of humor. She's also very, very intelligent. She also Thank cares you. deeply about your success. And that's why she's on this show. You know, all those all those traits and so many more, I'm sure, uh, that we could go into. But I want to, before I actually formally bring you on, Terry, sorry to be a tease here, but yeah, for all of you watching and listening, stay on to the end because at the end, you will have the opportunity to win a five-night stay at a, you guessed it, Five star luxury resort, all compliments of the big insider secrets. You see their red logo up here on the upper right hand corner of your screen. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal educational system and company by a dear, dear friend of mine who brought this prize to our show. And we give this, this out every single week on the show. And yes, there will be a time, and I hope very soon, where you can actually cash in on that prize and fly <laughs> and have a wonderful time in a wonderful resort. Uh, so do stick on to the end so that we can uh, give you the opportunity to be that one to wave the ticket in other people's uh, presence to say, I'm leaving as soon as I can. I'm out of here. So let's bring on the woman of the hour. Terry is an experienced entrepreneur, speaker, professional mm -hmm. development trainer, executive coach, and best-selling author, we're just beginning here, who became certified in various holistic modalities after experiencing multiple burnouts, who can relate with this, and health crisis. Terry integrates her experience, practical and holistic knowledge and wisdom and deep intuition into programs and speeches that develop leaders and entrepreneurs into highly intuitive puzzle solving ninjas who integrate the practical, tactical, logical, physical, energetic, spiritual, and emotional. I could go on for days. We're going to cut it off there. And now, yeah. officially welcome Terry to the show. How are you doing once again this evening? And what are you up to lately, Terry? I want to hear what's going on in your life. Oh, geez. You know, everybody's working from home. It's a wonderful thing. 
<laughs> I have my husband downstairs. He's working off at the dining room table and I am here in my office. And in the 25 years we have lived in this house, I have spent more time in this office in the last two months than I have in those 25 years because I usually love to sit in the den. He goes to work. I sit in the den. We have this gigantic eight foot slider. I love to look out on the deck in my little fountain with the angels and this and that and all the birds and the trees and blah, 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 blah. And now he's sitting in the dining room and it's, he's on his Zoom and he's too loud. So I am here in my office. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, you are, you are very uh, diverse. You've done a lot of things. You have a lot of um, a lot of talents, a lot of talents, especially in the area of mindset. And what I wanted to do is, and this is what I love to ask each of the successful entrepreneurs that comes on this show. So we get to learn a little bit about you through the intro and the bio and things. And that's kind of on, a, on, on the level above above ground, I like to say, mentally. Um, what I like to do is dig a little bit deeper. And what I mean by that is get into that big, beautiful brain of yours and find out exactly what it is about you that helps you to be to reach the levels of success that you have. Because everyone else can benefit from your experience and mm -hmm. what you do to maintain that. So when you get up in the morning, Terry, you know, being an entrepreneur, as we know, is super simple. It's a piece of cake. It's a walk in the park. And I'm being totally sarcastic there. Of course, it's not. <laughs> <gonna> say that. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, every day we meet challenges. And that's what's special about entrepreneurs is, yeah. you know, bring it, bring me another one. It's okay. But for you, you know, knowing that when you get up, every day isn't perfect. And the, there are those days. What is it that really motivates you? Like when you first come to and you're you're, you're awake and you, you, the day is in front of you and you're ready to take it on. What is it that keeps you driven to do what you do each day, day in and day out? Well, the, the very first thing that I do when I open my eyes is I take a deep breath and I breathe into my heart to get my brain and my heart connected because there's a lot of science behind that. I, I'm licensed with the Heart Math Institute and and way back in 2001 when, when I got my license, I was taught when you connect the brain and the head with the brain and the heart, you're in alignment, you're in, co in, in a very coherent space. So I take a very deep breath and I shift into gratitude. I am thankful for my pillow. I'm thankful for my bed. I'm thankful for my sheets. I'm thankful to the people who made them all. I'm thankful for the bed. I'm thankful for the weather outside, whatever's going on. You know, I go into a place of gratitude and that place of gratitude allows me to open the door to allow whatever comes in that day to be a, a, a positive thing. Now, is all of it positive? No, but because of the mindset, the positive mindset that you're in, it allows you to look at the stuff that lands in your lap that's not so good from a different perspective. And that's really the thing, it's perspective. Um, do I react? Yes, of course I react, especially with my specific behavior style. Uh, in my early days, I was definitely a reactor. No two ways about it. I reacted. And that reaction can get you into trouble because you're not hearing, seeing, and listening to the other things that are really important in that specific moment in time. There's a lot of information in those things. It took me a long... I do what I do today because I teach what I had to learn for myself. I've been an it. entrepreneur since I was 18. <laughs> I love it all, all of it. It's amazing. Uh, and I, I love this attitude of gratitude that you wake up with mm -hmm. and it is so powerful. It's so easy to do. Why not just do it every single day? Mm -hmm. What are you going to lose? I'm talking to other people, not you, Terry, of course. <laughs> um, what, what, what is there to lose? I mean, if you're, let's say you're commuting into a place of work and some still do, and many will be back mm -hmm. to doing that. Why not spend that time thank, being thankful of everything that you can observe as you're driving? and do it repetitively. And, and it doesn't matter how small it is. You just, you put yourself in that, that zone, I like to say, and now problems become less severe and uh, solutions become more readily available. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Um, I wrote down a note of attitude of gratitude. We got some cool people coming on. We got Mr. David Fagan, just getting to know Terry, but very impressed. Yes, as am I, my friend. Yeah, let's reconnect. Hello, David. Yeah. And then all the way from the Philippines, Eliza, she is an amazing young woman, has worked with our company in the past and is often on here watching. Appreciate you for coming on all the time, Eliza. Good morning to you in the Philippines. 
And uh, that's that's phenomenal. The attitude of gratitude. So, in my humble opinion, and I don't, I wonder if you would agree, Terry. But the mind is is the reason we are where we are right now. No matter Absolutely. if you're in a place of success or in a place of of uh, scarcity, it's yeah. all about where you have decided to put yourself, and it's no one else's fault but yours, and no one else's cause but yours. Do you agree with that? I agree with that 100%. And I want to take your car scenario a bit deeper, if I may. Yes, please. We get into the car to, to, now, in the days when we were all going to work. You slide behind the wheel and you're sitting there thinking about this, 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 and this. I challenge you, and this is a home, this is an exercise I would love for everyone to do. I challenge you to get behind that wheel and to actually feel the steering wheel under your hands actually feel the seat under you actually feel yourself turning the key on and as you're driving to work stay take a deep breath and get fully present in the moment and notice the trees notice nature notice the buildings Notice the cars around you. Notice the people around you. Do not think about work. Do not think about the future. Do not think about all that stuff. Stay fully present in the moment and only focus, only focus on what you see right smack in front of you. And notice what's good about it. It's, you know, it's spring. The trees are starting to uh, to, to uh, blossom. You know, the flowers are starting to come out. Uh, you know, lower your windows. Take a deep breath. Bring in the smell of those flowers in the trees. Unless you're allergic, then you've got another problem. <laughs> you know? But stay fully present in the moment. And by the time you get to work, you're in a very different place than sitting there thinking instead, oh, I've got to talk with this person. I have to talk with that person. Listen to the words. I have to talk with this person. I have to talk with that person. Oh, I, I just can't stand, you know, getting in with this. Da, 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 da. You are already setting yourself up in a negative mindset. And when you do that, what ends up happening is that the cortisol in your body rises and as it rises, it's creating havoc in your body. It creates the muscle pain, the muscle aches. It, it makes you gain weight. It increases the blood pressure. It does all kinds of happy nonsense to your body that you don't really want. It contributes to disease. It makes disease worse. So on your way to work, take a deep breath and instead look at the beauty of what's around you. And that is going to set the stage for a much different day at work. And if things go bad, you take a deep breath, breathe into your chest, think of something that feels good for 60 seconds. That's all you need to do. Make it very, very real. And that little piece right there, I call it the quick shift zone. Your cortisol levels are going to drop. Your DHEA levels are going to rise. And it's going to allow you to look at things from a different perspective and a different mindset. So that mind, you know, the mind body piece is huge. And it's going to help you as an entrepreneurial leader in business and in life. Excelente. I, I was taking notes. See, I, I'm running this whole thing, you know, director, producer, actor, host, all that good stuff. And so I'm not asking you to do anything that I wouldn't do. And that is take notes and write it down on a piece of paper. Uh, that's why I love to put uh, my guests on full screen so I can write like a madman while uh, they're dropping these nuggets of value. And one of the things that, that struck me was when you said, I have to talk with this person, I have to do this. And it's something uh, along that same line. I always uh, teach my team and anyone around me that I hear saying that, and I just ask them to do a simple reframe. So like, yep. this is taking it to an extreme because nobody likes doing the dishes, but we say, I have to do the dishes. Well, instead, maybe could you say, I get to do, yeah, the, dishes. do the dishes. And so what does that mean? Well, now your, your subconscious is going, it's working and saying, wow, that means I'm thankful that I have a sink to do the dishes in. I'm thankful that I have dishes to wash. I have running water with which to do the dishes. Hopefully I have soap to go with that. Maybe I'm in a dwelling place that I get to live in. And it just brings up that attitude of gratitude you talked about in the beginning, uh, Terry. Uh, <laughs> I laughing, Brian. Pardon? That example is brilliant because we live on a well. 
And let me tell you, we run out of water because somebody left the sink on or a toilet running or we have a bazillion people here and uh, we just run the, the well dry. I sit there, you know, it, it's like, oh, my gosh. So when the water comes back on, you better believe we are grateful that we get to do the dishes. We get to, we get to do the pot. Yeah. You are so spot on with that. And I think the the farther you take that, the better the results will be for you. Like dishes are, ugh, you know, like what's another one that's uh, doing the laundry? Yuck. Uh, you know, housework, vacuuming, cleaning the bathroom. OK, I get to clean the bathroom. Yes, that's a good one. I mean, there's so, so but how many people don't even have a bathroom? How many people don't have what you have? And it, it's not to make you feel guilty. It's to make you feel thankful. It's yeah. just the opposite. It's to make you feel uh, blessed. And mm -hmm. I, it's just amazing to me, Terry. I, I know the old me of just, I don't know, 10, 11 years ago, I would have thought what we're talking about right now is a bunch of woo woo, you know, get away from me. This is dumb. Uh, and now I'm a mature, getting old man, 55 now. And I think there's nothing more important than um, feeding your mind what it was designed to be fed. And that is positive thoughts and positive reinforcement, not only mm -hmm. for what's around you, but for yourself. Too many of us are kicking ourselves in the butt when we should be giving ourselves credit. You're absolutely right. Business is changing. Um, you know, when I owned a manufacturing company in my late 20s, we built electrical control panels and baggage racks for the railroad industry. And the world that I lived in was railroad. Railroad, okay? There were no women in railroad. <laughs> and, and here I am a... Um, uh, a Hispanic woman um, uh, with this manufacturing company. And I've always thought the way that I think, you know, that this is, I, I've always had this very positive streak and I'm with all of these very left brained engineering men and God <laughs> still keeps bringing me engineers. <laughs> you know, I work with a lot of engineer, <laughs> engineering mindset, engineering brains. And I really couldn't be myself because it was all about how to watch every word and whether it was left brained or not. And yes, I do have a left brained. I do have, I, I am very much left brained. As you can see, just even from my office, I have the angels here. I have all the angels here and I've got all the books over here and I sit right in the middle of them. <laughs> um, so I, I've got to, you know, I integrate all of it. However, when I owned that manufacturing company, let me tell you, it was intense. And these very, 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 very left-brained engineers would not listen to my intuition. And my intuition was always right. <laughs> and it cost them a lot of money. But unfortunately, I'm the one that, pay, that paid the price because we were working for six months, seven days a week, 17 hours a day. And my doctor basically said, you're not going to reach 30 at the rate you're going. Yeah. You know? Definitely. So people are listening. But business is different today. And I think with, with uh, a lot of the changes that have happened in our world, people are beginning to realize the necessity of truly integrating mind-body, truly integrating uh, the practical woo in everything that we do. Of that practical woo. <laughs> That's awesome. I have never heard that before. That is really cool. Oh my goodness. So uh, sh uh, switching gears just a little bit, because I do want to really dive deep into understanding what you do for people sure. in your business. And along those lines, you know, being an entrepreneur, as you can attest, takes a lot of skills. Like I opened up yeah. in the, the show and they're wide and varied. And I barely, I don't think I hit 10% of them uh, when I mentioned them. Uh, amongst all of the skills necessary to become and maintain successful, success and successful, they didn't work. I got to check my English, Brian. And to do that, <laughs> to maintain, uh, you know, to become successful and then to grow your business and continue that upward climb today, if you were just to take a snapshot right now, what would you, Terry, say are the top three skills that you would say are necessary to achieve that? Passion for what it is you're doing. Uh, and, and I'm going to put this in the number one slot, passion, love, and joy. 
passion, love, and joy is the number one. Uh, it's critical to running a great business. Number two is surrounding yourself with a fantastic team. You cannot do it all on your own. You truly, truly can't. Your team is key. And so many entrepreneurs say to me, oh, well, I don't have enough money. Da, 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 da. You know what? There are a lot of resources that will that you can tap into from internships at universities to other companies who have resources that um, people who may have just the talent that you need at just the right price to assist you to get to where you want to be. And number three, money comes at number three, prosperity. You know, prosperity is huge. It's, and it's focusing on prosperity from a global perspective, mind, the, you know, the mind-body connection, self-care, continuing with knowledge. So number three, the gold is in the self-care and the gold is in being able to communicate and listen with folks. So that's all part of prosperity. You know, the, the mind-body connection, communication, leadership, all of that falls into that level three under the banner of prosperity. So love, joy, passion, your team, and then prosperity. If you put money first, and there's not anyone I know who has put money first who has truly succeeded. Because when you put money first, you're always going after the money, the money, the money, the money. And the people I know, they may be succeeding financially, but they're not succeeding in their relationships. They're not succeeding in their health. They're absolutely flaming miserable. Wow. That's it. Mic drop. <laughs> All of it. I am not kidding, uh, Terry. I love those three skills. I have no, no one that has preceded you has ever mentioned any of those three as being the most important. Now, it's it's important to note that this is what is important in one's current state in their own walk with their success. Uh, that's what I love about these because I they're always different. But this one, this one really stood above to me. I'm getting chills because you're my sister. Passion, passion, joy, and love. I mean, you're so right. I mean, if you don't love what you do, then what the heck are you doing? Uh, sorry, but I, I'm not shaming anyone. But it's true. Yeah, you, know, that. you burn out. If you, you know, don't love what you're doing, you will burn out. Now, you can still burn out because there's a lack of boundaries. Sure. Okay. Sure. You can love what you're doing, which is what happened to me. I burned out because I loved what I was doing, but I didn't have the right boundaries. Okay. Yeah. So, um, but when you love what you do and you put the right boundaries in, it's just amazing what happens and what you focus on expands and expands and the universe will give you more and the universe is going to bring just the right people and just the right tools and just the right stuff to help you get to where you want to be. But those three things have to be key first. And I've seen uh, it, it, it pains me uh, because these are people I care about. I've seen many, uh, I know many who claim they're passionate about something, but really all they're passionate about are the riches at the end of the rainbow. Yeah, the, you know they—they've talked themselves into th thinking that they love it. Uh, you know that's what a lot of shiny object syndrome entrepreneurs are usually guilty of. Is they're running after money more than the cause of the pa the yeah the mission the purpose. Yeah. Uh, but here's the thing, Terry. I've noticed you know when you're first starting out as an entrepreneur and you don't have the traction yet, you don't have clients yet there is a big part of it that you must be money centric in the beginning because you need the money to survive. So you have to find ways to get the money. And as you're growing the money and that's becoming more uh, abundant, that's when you see the shifts of those who decide to grow into maturity. I call it in the entrepreneur uh, phase, like uh, what is it? Uh, the E-Myth Revisited by Michael Gerber talks about the three phases of business. And they get to the point where money is never it's not the focus anymore. It is now about serving others. It's now about expanding their employee base, helping more people, uh, scaling, like you said, a, a fantastic team. Wow, you're the first one that's brought that up. That is so, I think that is so on point. That shocked the living daylights out of me. <laughs> I mean, if you're passionate about that, about something, and you're going as a solopreneur, you will burn out guaranteed. I know I've been there, you've been there, Terry. Mm -hmm. Um, because you gotta have help. You are so absolutely right. Uh, and then those that are saying, yeah, but I don't have the money. We've all been there. I've been there. I'll bet Terry has had those thoughts too. Oh, yes. You, oh, yeah. 
the key is overcoming those thoughts. And that's where we're going to segue pretty soon. And what Terry does to help you with that uh, yeah. is to get over that resistance and hesitation yeah. and those limiting beliefs that are keeping you from doing what you really should be doing that, you know, you should be doing that. You're just holding your back yourself back mm -hmm. with excuses and reasons. And some of it's subconscious and Terry can help clear this out for you because she's an amazing woman and fantastic. You know, with, with uh, getting help, I have apprentices that work with me. I never say for me, uh, literally at just over $2 an hour is their rate. That's it. It's out there. They're out there and they're amazing. They're, they're, they're fantastic. Uh, I've got a whole system around it. Um, and so just, you'll figure it out. If you are that passionate about something, right, Terry, you're going to figure out how to make it work. If you're burning out, you'll figure it out. And it's not all about you though. What about a team beyond a team, right? Mentors, yeah. coaches, friends. And associates. here's the thing, Brian, you were saying that in the, in the beginning, you need to be very money conscious, but you know what? When you have love, joy, and passion at the very beginning, and you've got a great team to support you, the money's going to automatically come in. So that that's the thing that people fail to realize. The money will flow once your priorities are in order. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Very true. It, it is about, uh, you know, I've been in network marketing in and out and I see all the, uh, the mega recruiters who are in for the quick kill. They're just looking for the next recruit, next recruit, but they're not there to support the people they're recruiting. Yes. And right. it's a house of cards because they're all in it for the quick kill, the fast cash, mm -hmm. uh, the same thing there. It's built on a, you know, on a foundation of sand instead of stone. Uh, so all of this, yeah. And then prosperity, you know, self-care, communication, key, especially when you have a team, you got to communicate. Uh, mm -hmm. I know an organization right now uh, that has been around for years, not just weeks or months, and their communication is still horrible and they're suffering. Mm -hmm. uh, all of these things play together, by the way. It's not just one thing that's going to heal everything that's going, right. uh, that's not going right right now. And it, it's a process and it takes time. But here's a beautiful thing. You have somebody like this right here who can help you navigate uh, those waters. Thank you. And Terry, to that end, I this is the time. I want to dive into this. Uh, exactly what is it you do? Who do you serve? And uh, then we'll get into how people can connect with you a little bit later on the show. But let us I really want to find out what is it that you do and what impact are you having on those people that you've already worked with? Okay. Well, I work with entrepreneurial leaders who are ready to leap off the stress hamster wheel <laughs> and leap into what I call the calm ease and flow zone. And what emerges from that, because they learn how to look at things from different perspectives, as I talked about before, they evolve into unstoppable, resilient, intuitive leaders. And to be at that place as, a, as an entrepreneur is absolutely huge because when you understand how you're thinking and how it affects your energy, your body, and how you are interacting with people. It's, it's called, you know, it's law of attraction, folks. And people say, oh, law of attraction doesn't work. Well, guess what? Law of attraction works 24 seven because law of attraction works based on your mindset, all right? It's energy, it's vibration. So if you're negative all the time, that, you know, that more of that stuff lands in your lap. If you're positive all the time, more of that stuff lands in your lap. The thing is, oh, well, I mean, I know I'm positive. I know I'm really, really positive and I tried it and nothing happened. Okay. I hear that a lot, but guess what? It's the subconscious stuff that gets in the way that you're not aware of. We carry around a lot of emotional baggage that unfortunately we bring to we bring into our world from our environment where we were raised and the different situations and the things that happen in our lifetime. And they affect us. And unless we clear out that emotional baggage, I have worked with entrepreneur over entrepreneur over entrepreneur who gets so close to the finish line. I mean, they are right there. They are ready to cross. And all of a sudden it's like a cartoon. Their heels go in and they start going backwards because it's a fear of success. It's a fear of not enough. Oh, I, I'm not good enough. Lack of self-esteem, lack of not being worthy, anxiety, worry, on and on and on and on. All that emotional baggage gets in the way of being able to cross over that finish line into the land of success. Yeah. 
So what I do, I, I'm certified in NLP, emotion code, body code, EFT, on and on and on and on. And it doesn't, that stuff doesn't matter. You know, I've got a big, um, if you can imagine a big carpet bag, I don't really have a carpet bag, but a big carpet bag that's got all these different tools in it. And I just pull out just the right thing for you. Everything is customized. And we clear out all of that emotional crap that is in your way because you're the only one who's who's stopping yourself from being the success that you want to be. So we clear it out and oh my gosh, it is so juicy and delicious when you cross that finish line feeling so good because you did it. You did it. There is nothing worse than that constant voice back here. Meh, 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 either from you know, parents or siblings or friends to say, oh, what are you doing that for? What are you doing that for? And they squash your dreams. Mm -hmm. And you know in your heart, your soul, you feel it. It's in your cells. You really, really, really want to do it. You're meant to do this, but you allow these people bah, 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 to talk, you know, constantly talk in your ear. <laughs> and we, we get rid of all that nonsense. And I propel you to, to a place where you live your dreams successfully. And I sure it's not a dream, trust me, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really hope everyone is taking notes. Uh, it's golden nugget after golden nugget. My page is full now. No, oh, um, okay. Amazing, amazing value, rich, valuable information. And, you know, really harping on the fact that it's all about mindset. Uh, the fact that you're talking about the subconscious, I was so glad you said that because, you know, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but when you compare your conscious brain to your subconscious brain and the amount of control and power comparatively, you know, there's different numbers, but they're always around close. They're really 90% subconscious, 10%, yeah. uh, conscious, 20, 80, things like that. But the subconscious is mm -hmm. very, very powerful. Yes. You know, Brian, let, let me put that in a, in, a, in a picture for you so it's easy for the listeners to understand where I'm going with this. You know, the Titanic was sunk by what was not seen. Yes. Okay? <laughs> so let's imagine the iceberg. The top part of the iceberg is what everybody sees. Yep. Okay? It's your actions. It's your behavior. It's your words. On and on and on. That's the top of the iceberg. The bottom two thirds of that iceberg, that is all the subconscious stuff. It's the hidden stuff that sunk the Titanic. It's the hidden stuff that keeps sinking us. Mm -hmm. And you know, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again. Oftentimes the specific action you're taking could be the right thing, but it's this stuff up here that is holding you back. And that's that lower two thirds that gets in the way. And that's the stuff that I love to work with to get rid of ditto uh ditto yeah that's a great metaphor i love that uh and i i've used to put up a graphic on once i spoke from stage and taught nlp from stage and i ha literally had a picture of an iceberg and many use that analogy in nlp to talk about the 10 percent, which is this much and then the rest of it which is massive and it it's is. all under the water and that's where that's the power of your brain we're not talking about our brains we're talking about your brain you that are watching Absolutely. you that are listening what if you could tap into that? What if you could reprogram it? Because we cannot consciously access it, or can we? Yes, uh -huh. because there might be someone who knows how to do just that. And the only thing it's going to do is give you the results you've been wanting and desiring and deserving your entire life. And, and you're going to feel better. Your body is going to feel better. It, it's absolutely true. I can say this with absolute certainty because I've experienced it both as a student, someone who received the NLP processes, I, my my background is NLP, and then one who has applied those processes to many people, even a sea of people in, in a training facility, in a seminar, watching them transform before your eyes is the biggest gift in the world, but knowing that they're coming in as a totally different person the next day is it's, it's so fulfilling for mm -hmm. me, but it's I'm just happy for them. And I implore of you, all of you watching and listening, if you have not gone through any kind of mindset I don't even want to call it work. It's play. It's fun because you get results and they don't take weeks, months, or years. Uh, in NLP terms, it's uh, seven minutes for certain processes. Yes, and like that, your mind wants to change. It wants to change now. It's just accessing the right tools and the right sciences that are proven that exist today. And there's someone right here that can help you do that right here, right here. 
Terry, and, you know, it, but that's really key what you just said. These are a lot of energy psychology tools that exist today. And there are more tools every day that are emerging. And it's interesting that so many medical doctors are finally looking at this. They are finally getting it that the mind is so powerful. Oh, it's just the placebo effect. Who cares if it works? It's the power of the mind. And the, the beautiful thing with NLP and then with emotion code and body code and, you know, you've got EMDR and you've got the tapping that people use, you know, using the acupuncture points, also known as emotional freedom technique, you know, all, all of these different tools and modalities that are coming up, they're coming up and being downloaded to people for a reason. It's time. It, you know, we, our medical system is phenomenal and you know science is great but guess what these other tools in combination with it creates magic and miracles in huge ways it, and it does um and it is it does seem like magic it does <laughs> the first time i experienced it i was like wow this, this stuff works mm -hmm. you know okay. i mean that was one i'll never forget one time i literally got up i was in a you know, I went through an advanced NLP course to train to be a trainer. And at that moment, we were on the other side. We were on the client side, the change chairs, we call it. Mm -hmm. And I'll just remember when the first time one of those processes was applied to me <clears throat> and I felt the change immediately. I literally I was I was blown away. I got so mm -hmm. excited. I jumped up and I ran around the room, literally ran around the room. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know what I was saying, but I know I remember the instructor saying Shh, other people are still doing their process like, oh, I didn't know I was doing this. It was like yeah. awesome. And, and and for those that might have this uh, preconceived notion of mindset work and, you know, when you hear terms like NLP or hypnosis, a lot of people kind of retract and get a little bit scared. I used to be the same way. Uh, I really was. And I just wanted to let those people know that all hypnosis, when you talk about hypnosis, because that's really where people go, that that's what they equate everything to, because that's what they know. And that I've seen it so many times. And I was one of them. I'll, I will be honest. And the thing to do is address that, because all hypnosis is self-hypnosis. In other words, you cannot be forced or coerced to do anything that isn't already in your value system, subconsciously. So if you're not a person who goes out and, you know, does damage to other people in any way, shape or form, that's not part of you, you are not going to be able to be coerced to do that. If you are a believer in a certain religion, you are not going to be coerced into believing something else. Like if you're a Christian, you're not gonna become anti uh, and vice versa. It's just, that's what is embedded in your value system. Once I learned that, I was like, man, let's take the, let's take the guard down and let's go make some, you know, get, Get in line with somebody like this who wants to help you, who has everything but the best of intentions for you. So vet the people that you work with and then go all in and just trust in the process. Within five minutes, you will completely trust Terry if you don't already, haven't you? Yes, oh, you. she is amazing. So, yeah, I mean, we could go a couple more hours on this, Terry. So um, yeah, we could. back over to you. <laughs> well, you know. Well, we're talking a lot about mindset, but the, you know, the, the next level is once we work with mindset, where, where do you go from there? So, you know, it, it's about when I work with my clients, I work on their intuition. I help them trust their intuition. Mm -hmm. So many entrepreneurs and business leaders don't trust their intuition. Who here has not listened to their intuition and lived to regret it? And it's because they don't trust it. So I help my clients trust their intuition, figure out which uh, which entrepreneur, which intuitive strength is their strength. I mean, are they psychic? Do they hear words? Do they feel it? Are they kinesthetic? You know, what is it? Clear, you know, are they clear audience, clairvoyant, clear cognizant, clear sentient? You know, finding out which one and which combination is really key to helping you trust your intuition. And a lot of that is practice. And then the next step is communication. How do you communicate? Um, you know, do you, what is your behavior style? I love to work with the disc 
uh, profile. I've been using DISC profile since I, since 1993, when I read my very first report and I'm reading this report, I'm sitting there going, oh, that's not me. That's not me. Mm -mm, no, that's not me. Oh, that's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I like that part. Da, da, da. And I put it away. And two weeks later, after I put my girls to sleep, I was I, I pulled it back out again. I started reading it. And every single thing that I wrote and highlighted that I didn't like, I realized that I had done in those two weeks. And that's when I thought, oh, it is time to learn this. And I did. I got certified in DISC. And um, I learned a lot about uh, the emotions that each behavior style carries, which allows me then to communicate positively uh, with an individual by understanding on the surface uh, where they're going because DISC reads body language, voice tone, as well as the words. And so between communication, leadership skills, all right, working with intuition and clearing out the emotional baggage, and then we get into systems for an entrepreneur. But I gotta tell you, I will not work with an entrepreneur unless we work with mindset first. I, and I couldn't agree more. I mean, there's no point. Well, you're right. And well, I'm not going to say there's no point. What, what it has proven to me over and over again, and I have a lot of, of um, I've had a lot of folks want to hire me and say, well, I want you to help me work with my systems. I said, well, I'll help you work with your systems once we, once we figure out why your systems are the way they are. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And why is it that the systems are the way they are and why you feel safe with the systems and you're doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a difference? We need to get to the core of that. We need to get to the bottom of that. And um, what I find is when we integrate all of it together, the results are very powerful, strong, and dynamic. But you have to want to do it. You know, you can take a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. And that's something I learned is once I found a mentor that I trusted and who had the results I sought that I wanted as well, I decided to go all in and just do what they recommended to do without fighting it, without arguing about it, without thinking I could do it a different way. I don't, I've been there, done that, and I got nowhere as a result. Like you talk about crossing the finish line and helping people get there. I can't tell you how many times, Terry, I got right to the end and I'd trip over my shoelaces and not make it. And over and over and over, for all the reasons you mentioned, I, I was reliving every one of them. <laughs> and thank goodness, you know, I met my mentor who helped me get to the point where I'm now, I was, I was telling you before the show, just crossing that line and going over the crest. And you know what? It's not going to go downhill. It's going to keep going up and there'll be another finish line because it never ends. And I love that about entrepreneurship. But it's that first one that everyone wants, you know, that first experience. Gosh, if I could just do this. Right. And I love that. You, that is where your focus is. And, you know, to put it in layman's terms for all those watching and listening, that is what Terry does for you. She gets the results to help you get past that finish line of yours. What is your goal? I want to open my first business. I want to have my first 100, my 100th client come through the doors or come online. Whatever your goals are, it's there's that self-sabotage in our, self, our subconscious that's keeping us from getting there, our limiting beliefs that uh, Terry so eloquently talked about, many of them. And she can help you to weed, you know, weed out that beautiful garden of your brain to where you have nothing but the beautiful flowers and thriving vegetables and fruits that will mm -hmm. keep you going and thriving for years to come. Because this is a permanent fix for you uh, it once is. it's cleared out. Oh, talk about that, Terry. You were saying about uh, something about um, how your business model is not to be there forever for someone, but to give them the tools. Right, right, right. Well, I'm all about awakening the possibilities. That's my tagline. It's intuitive leadership. And the tagline is awaken the possibilities. I have a Facebook group called awaken the possibilities. And I have a podcast called awaken the possibilities. So bringing out awakening your possibilities is key. And once we awaken your possibilities, and we're clear on your goals, and we're clear on how you're going to get there and what it is you're going to do. You know, I am all about teaching you how to feed yourself. And uh, the tools that I use, I teach them to you in a way that you will be able to use them for yourself. So you don't need me. It's about, you know, working my way out of a job. <laughs> and, and, and that's really what I look at where leadership is concerned. It's about raising people. 
helping people get to where they are. A lot of coaches, a lot of leaders, they're scared that their protégés are going to be better than they are. I want you to be better than me. I want you to be up there because guess what? You have a mission on this planet. You have a mission on this earth. My mission is to be here in the middle between the angels and my intuition on this side and my left brain books on this side and to hold hold you up so that you can get to where you want to be and you're expected and need to be because guess what your tribe is waiting for you it's not my tribe it's your tribe your tribe is waiting for you and i would love to be able to help you be there in mind body and spirit in a way that you attract your ideal audience in a way that you're clear on your vision and your mission in a way that your entrepreneur that that your business is has a really good solid foundation. It doesn't have that sand that you were talking about earlier, Brian. It is, it, it is solid and you can stand on your own two feet and then you just tap into me anytime that you need a, uh, a Terry fix. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's one of the many things I love about you. Uh, I'm just gleaming over here because, you know, you could easily leave out an ingredient or a step or a whole process or two and, make it so they have to keep coming back to you easily. Mm -hmm. uh, and what you just explained tells me so much about you that you're all about abundance. You have zero scarcity mindset. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. about helping people to achieve their greatness, not helping Terry to become a multimillionaire, which <laughs> by the way, a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, which by the way, I honestly hope you, if you are already there that you do achieve that and you far exceed it because of yeah. what you do, you know, it's okay for people to make money. It's okay for people to make a lot of money, especially someone like Terry. Why? What is she going to do with that money? She's going to serve and help more people. Yeah, She's going to yeah. scale her business. Yeah. And it, it's it's not, it's not more of a responsibility, not just a desire to make more money as an entrepreneur if you are serving and helping others just like Terry is. So please uh, become incredibly wealthy so that you can continue to do what you do and pass on your knowledge to others to carry the torch whenever that time comes. Right. Uh, it's it's amazing what you do. And I love just listening to you because your heart is so gorgeous. You know, you just, you just have, you love helping people. And to say that I'm here to get you out of my, out of my office so that you can take care. It's like kicking the kid or the, the bird out of the nest. Right. Bird out of the nest, yeah. Yeah. Me. And, hey, but, go. Bye. <laughs> but as with kicking a kid out of the, say the house <laughs> or letting them move on in life, we're still always there in case they need us. Right. So you have that, a uh, lifeline, that support line. Right. And, and as we were talking before the show, I, I mentioned that I, I raised my children to be independent and strong so that the day that I'm not here, I mean, I could be gone tomorrow. The day that I'm not here, they can stand on their own two feet. I don't want them to be dependent on me. I don't want that. Now, well, am I going to be there for them to help them and support them? Absolutely. But darn it, I want them to be on their own, stand on their own two feet to be able to make their choices, to make their mistakes. As much as every mom and dad, I really, you know, they, we try, you know, one of the worst things a parent can do is to get in the way of their children making mistakes. You're right. Because our kids, people learn from mistakes. Yes. And when we try to sanitize the world, <laughs> yeah, well. Exactly. When we try to sanitize the world from and avoid our children making mistakes, it's one thing to give them counsel. It's one thing to share insights with them, but ultimately they need to make the decisions and learn for themselves because that's how they're going to navigate through life. Uh, you know, that, I see these helicopter parents and these kids who are not allowed to make mistakes and my heart hurts for them. Yeah. Yeah. It's just going to put them behind uh, everyone else who was brought up allowed to make mistakes. Uh, and so I agree with, I mean, it's a fine line, especially with parents. They love their kids so much. They don't want to see them hurt. And that, there's nothing wrong with that, but there is, there is that balancing act of when do I let them go make their own mistakes? Uh, just don't. Yeah. I, I don't want to become a preacher on the subject, but I agree with everything you're saying, uh, Terry, completely. Uh, it's, you know, th there are times I have over 
done it on helping my kids. I'll be the first to admit it. And then, then I'll say, Whoa, back up, let them take care of what they want to do. And it's uh, hard. It is. It is, it is really hard to do that. Yep. One thing I, I, I promised and I stuck true to it that I would never do is try to have them or ask them to walk in my footsteps, to follow in my footsteps, to do what I do. I said, no, I'm just going to let them know what the choices are and, you know, give them the positives and negatives of each and say, and, and if you want help or further discussion, I'm here, but I want you to decide and I will love you every ounce as much, no matter which way you go. Uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter to me as long as they're happy. If they made the choice that's right for them, that's all that matters to me. Uh, and that's the way it is with the way you are treating your people that come through your doors. You're giving them, you're, you're empowering them. Absolutely. To be self-sufficient, to, self to make the choices they need to make. I love it. You know, there, there, I have a very funny story for you real quickly. You know, we're, we're, a, we're a Navy family, all right? My husband retired from the Navy after 25 years. Well, unbeknownst to us, when my daughter was going through college and she was choosing colleges, she decided to go to this one university because it had the NROTC program in it. And we're looking at her going, what? <laughs> yeah, you want to go into the Navy? You're kidding. Okay, well, we had, no, you know, whatever. So... <laughs> She went out on, she went on to this one tour and she calls me up. She says, yeah, mom, I'm going to be the weapons officer on board this ship. And I just sat there and I went, you're the what? <laughs> the weapons officer. And I just sat, I couldn't speak. I, I was a little dumbfounded. And there's something you don't know about me. You know, my degrees in law enforcement is in criminal justice. I was in law enforcement in my early 20s and my mid 20s. And I got very quiet and I meditated on it because I was like, oh, my God, my kid is going to be the weapons officer on board this ship. And I heard these words. Get over it, Terry. Her guns are just bigger than yours were. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> got it. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. <laughs> so, you know. I, I, I'm like, okay, that all put it in perspective for me. Her guns are just bigger than mine were. So, you know, <laughs> our kids following in our footsteps, you don't, sometimes they do, and you have no clue how that's going to happen. It's true. Yeah. You see it, and you're like, wait, wait, when did this happen? How come you're doing what? Oh, no. I don't know if I want you to do that. <laughs> but, okay, go ahead. I'll help if you want. I hope I didn't, like, yeah. completely brainwash you into doing that, because I certainly don't want to. Well, hey, you know, we're getting near the end, which I cannot believe. Um, and there's a couple things left to do. Actually, three things left to do. But uh, one is I love to ask a particular question of every one of my guest experts who come on this show, Terry. And uh, it it's an amazing question because it's very, very personal. Okay. And I don't mean that in a get into your knickers kind of personal way. It's, it's just... Um, unique to every individual. Let's put it that way. Okay. And that's all. It's nothing deep. Uh, the interesting thing is some some respond like, bam, they have it. Others take some time to ponder. And for you, whatever it is that it takes is perfectly fine because here's the thing. There's no such thing as a wrong answer. It doesn't exist. All right. So uh, before we get into that, though, I uh, I did promise everyone at the onset of the show that I would show them how they could win a five-night stay at a five-star luxury resort. And you now have our permission to take your gaze away from the computer screen if you're watching there. If you're on your phone, then good. That's what you need is take out your smartphone, bring out your messaging app, keep this thing going so you can hear me if you're on the phone. And what you want to do is text. Put in a text message. So where you would put the person you're texting to, just tap on that area and type in the number 661-535-1624. And where you would type in your message with all those wonderful emojis, leave the emojis out. Just type in the word peak, P-E-A-K, and hit that little send button. So again, send a text to the number 661-535-1624. And just type in the word peak, P E A K, send it off, and we will announce the winner on Facebook and to you uh, individually. We will let you know and give you the information you need to go and uh, grab your trip to that wonderful five star resort. All right. We are going to come back to the woman of the hour. Yes, that's right. 
is Terry. And um, the other thing about this question, Terry, and this won't be the end for all of you watching because I want to. We're going to bring up ways you can connect with Terry very easily uh, right after this. And what I wanted to do, Terry, is uh, let you know that not only is there no such thing as a wrong answer. In fact, the only correct answer is yours. Okay. Pretty intriguing. I know the wheels are turning right now. What is this question going to be, Brian? For crying out loud, just ask it already. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you sure? Okay, here we go. I know you're always ready. <laughs> Terry Wildman. Yes. How do you define success? By being true to yourself following your dreams, following your heart, bottom line. You need to follow your heart. You don't need to do anything. Follow your heart because you're meant to follow your heart. Follow your dreams. Don't ever t allow anybody to squash your dreams. That's how I define success. Success is when you're living life on your terms, not anybody else's terms. Your terms got that that's I mean, amazing 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 every single answer is different uh no two are exactly the same i love it i've done uh, we're, we're approaching 100 of these shows now uh it's such an uh such a powerful question and the answers are just amazing and here's what i love to bring up uh because notice uh those of you that are watching and listening what was not there when she said what the key to success was. How does she define success? Did you hear anything about money? Maybe millions of dollars, billions of dollars? No, didn't cross her mind. How instant was her answer? Instant. Uh, it doesn't matter how long it takes. The thing is, what was the answer and what was behind the answer? And with her, it was follow your heart. She cares about you. That is mm -hmm. the core of Terry is she cares about you. So would you not want to connect with her and take it to the next step? Every one of us needs help, including yours truly. You never, you were never perfect. We never will be. Um, well, maybe we'll see, uh, but we're not perfect now. We're far from it. And all we can do is strive for anything close to perfection. If we can possibly even get that, you know, close. I don't think we can, to be honest, and that's okay. We just try to continue to improve. So Terry, what I'd like to do is, uh, pull up your website and then maybe you could give folks ways for people to connect with you so they can have that conversation and see if you're a fit, which I know you are, to uh, to help them further their life and their business. Why, thank you. My website, oh, you're actually pulling up the website. I thought you were just right. going to get the domain in there. Okay, intuitiveleadership.com. And on there, you're going to see various tabs with that include our VIP days, coaching services, Intuitive Leadership University that is coming up very soon. Actually, we're going to be running a pilot, uh, a brand new pilot program uh, that may interest your viewers because I'm it, it, I'm only allowing 20 people in. I'm not allowing any more than that uh, on this pilot program. And you can find a lot of wonderful things on the site. Um, it's the VIP days I love doing because when I work with a with a person, I, I get my hands in there. You know, I can work with you all day. It's so much fun to be able to do that. And you walk out feeling so much better on every level because we work on your business. We work on your mindset. We work on your health. We work on absolutely everything. Uh, we really take a big picture uh, a snapshot and work very, very closely together uh, to help you set up a path, a plan to be able to move forward. Uh, we have a whole page of testimonials, an entire big page of testimonials up there. We have a tab that says testimonials. Uh, and all the way to the right there, there you go. You click on that tab and there's a whole bunch of, uh, of testimonials on there. And also you will see on there a tab for our podcast, Awaken the Possibilities, of which Brian was already on. Thank you very much. We had a great show. Uh, he is an absolute fantastic guest. So, yes, we're actually working on shifting a few things on there, but you can listen to us on all different uh, channels and spaces, and we've had some great people on. 
there's good old Roger coming up and Christine and uh, Robert Bell. And, oh, geez, we have all kinds of, we've had all kinds of wonderful guests. Uh, and like I said, Brian, we have a lot more coming. We're actually booked completely through the year right now, which is very cool. Very nice. So anyway, that speaks out to you. You can, again, this is intuitiveleadership.com. And if you, you would like a 15 minute uh, virtual chat, you can go to coffeewithterry.com. Coffeewithterry.com. I didn't have that one preloaded. That's all right. Uh, if you go to this site, intuitiveleadership.com, you'll find on the upper left, it's small on this screen. You'll see it fine on yours is the phone number on the upper left yep. and her email address also right at the top mm -hmm. there. So you can just go to intuitiveleadership.com and reach out to her, have that conversation. You can tell she's a wonderful woman. You can tell that it's going to be a, a great conversation that she's there for you. That's, that's what makes her role. Um, she is an amazing, amazing woman. And I'm, I'm so uh, blessed to be able to have this ability to, you know, somehow some way spread the word about you terry uh, i'm i'm very fortunate in that regard i appreciate you so much this has been so much fun i cannot tell you it's phenomenal phenomenal it has been a lot of fun it really really has thank you brian and i mean both when you were on my podcast and it, we, we had so much fun <laughs> we just that's it every time we get together we're having fun all, all two times <laughs> But yeah, you're a gem. And uh, for all of you watching now or live or afterward or listening on the podcast, yeah, go ahead, pick up the phone, give her a call, go to her website, intuitiveleadership.com and have that conversation. She is a godsend and I appreciate you immensely, Terry. Thank you so much for your time tonight. I know it's late where you are on the East Coast. Um, so I do appreciate you for sticking it out late. And uh yeah, that's it. We're done. I can't believe it. I don't want to be done. Another hour? We're never done. We're never done. <laughs> All right. Be, on behalf of the amazing, the amazing, amazing Terry, I am Brian, your host of the Mind Body Business Show. And we will be back again next week with another great edition. Until then, everyone, stay safe and be blessed. So long for now. <laughs> Thank you for watching and listening. This has been the Mind Body Business Show with Brian Kelly.